Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is February 6th, my birthday, where I turn 19 for the 20th time. Before we jump into things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with Arcadis Saboth from Legends. This Legends Rare is down 5.35% from $34.98 to $33.11 for its market price, and its average price is $33.35. Shattered Sanctum from Innistrad Crimson Vow. This land is down 8.57% from $23.70 to $21.67 for its market price, and its average price is $22.68. Exquisite Blood from Jumpstart. This rare is down 8.59% from $20.03 to $18.31 for its market price, and its average price is $20.33. Repercussion from Urza's Destiny, this rare is down 10.72% from $10.45 to $9.33 for its market price, and its average price is $11.04. Johan from Legends, this Legends rare is down 10.74% from $28.13 to $25.11 for its market price, and its average price is $25.26. Tuckner Deathlock from Legends, another Legends card. This one happens to be a reserve list card, down 11.85% from $20.67 to $18.22 for its market price, and its average price is $19.97. Blood Moon from Modern Masters. This card is down 13.47% from $7.50 to $6.49 for its market price, and its average price is $8.30. And our final loser here is Gamble, and this is the Borderless Special Guest version of the card, down 13.67% from $9 to $7.77 for its market price, and its average price is $8.02. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Chroma's Will from Commander Legends. This card is up 10.51% from $17.89 to $19.77 for its market price, and its average price is $18. In the extended art copy, is currently sitting at $24.39 for its market price, and its average price is $24.19. In the Commander Lost Caverns Ixalan copy, is sitting at $15.57 for its market price, and its average price is $17.47. And this card is seeing most of its play in the Commander format, in decks like Pantlaza Sun Favored and Jassath Sun's Avatar. And the next winner on our list today is a Lost Caverns Ixalan Rare, Tishana's Tidebinder. And it's up 21.04% from $10.79 to $13.06 for its market price, and its average price is $14. And the pre release copy is sitting at $18.79 for its average price, and the borderless copy is sitting at $9.85 for its market price, and its average price is $11. And this card is being played mostly in the modern format in decks like Crashing Footfalls and Merc Died Regent and 4 to 5 Colored Omnath. However, also see some standard play in decks like Esper Midrange and Demir Midrange. And the next winner on our list today is Inti Seneschal of the Sun from Lost Cavern Zixalon. This card is up 21.71% from $5.02 to $6.11 for its market price, and its average price is $4.88. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $4.50 for its average price, and the showcase copy is sitting at $3.93 for its market price, and its average price is $3.80. And this card is seeing a lot of play across a variety of formats in the Pioneer format in decks like Rakdos Midrange, as well as Is It and Soul Artifact, and it's even being played in the Modern format in Asbo Food decks, as well as Assault Loam, and of course the Standard format in decks like Rakdos Midrange, Four Color Legends, and Gruul Aggro. And the next winner on our list today is Venerated Rot Priest from Phyrexia All Will Be One. This rare is up 23.13% from $4.80 to $5.91 for its market price, and its average price is $6.59. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $6.14 for its average price, and the promo pack copy is sitting at $3.05 for its market price, and its average price is $7.33. And the extended art copy from the collector packs is sitting at $6.24 for its market price, and its average price is $6.61. And this card is seeing a ton of standard play right now in decks like Bant Poison, Simic Heroic, as well as Four Color Poison, 
and it's even being played in the modern format in Infect decks, and of course the commander format in decks like Attracts of Praetor's Voice and Finn the Fangbearer. Next up here is Get Lost from Lost Caverns Lixalon, and this is the borderless copy of the card, up 29.33% from $3.75 to $4.85 for its market price, and its average price is $4.32, and the pre-release copy is sitting at $5.38 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $5.25 for its market price, and its average price is $4.53. This card is seeing a ton of Pioneer play in decks like Insoria's Control, Abzan and Malia combo, and it's even being played in the modern format in Donald Creativity X, and of course the standard format in decks like Azoria's Soldiers. And the next winner on our list today is March of Swirling Mist from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This rare is up 30.17% from $6.43 to $8.37 for its market price, and its average price is $6. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $5.62 for its average price, the promo pack copy is sitting at $8.10 for its average price, and the extended art copy from the collector packs is sitting at $5.43 for its market price, and its average price is $5.30. And the showcase copy is sitting at $7.53 for its market price, and its average price is $8.04. And this card sees most of its play in the standard format in decks like Bant Poison, Azorius Tempo, as well as Simic Heroic, However, also see some legacy play in Doomsday decks, and of course the standard format in decks like Kanata Dawn Crown and Kinnan Bonder Prodigy. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Werebear from Odyssey, this old frame foil is up 20.88% from $5.70 to $6.89 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8. Reaver Demon here from Mirrodin, this foil is up 22.70% from $11.41 to $14 for its foil market price, and its average price is $15. Frogmite from Mirrodin, this foil is up 25% today from $4 to $5 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.07. Graceful Adept here from Champions of Kamigawa, this foil is up 37.53% from $4.61 to $6.34 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.70. Reckless Ember Mage from 7th edition, this foil is up 39.04% from $11.45 to $15.92 for its foil market price, and its average price is $18.47. Inflame, another old frame foil, this time from Prophecy, up 72.26% from $1.55 to $2.67 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.44. Moonring Island from Shadow Moor, this foil is up 78.22% from $4.73 to $8.43 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.46. Stone Rain from Mercady Mass, this old frame foil is up 81.05% from $2.48 to $4.49 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.97. Psychic Trance from Onslaught, another old frame foil up 152.67% from $1.50 to $3.79 for its foil market price, and its average price is exactly the same. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering. Market movers, it really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow into YouTube's algorithm. Obviously, all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards you're most surprised to see on the list, which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day and take care.
Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.